Hi guys, Andy from the IF community team here and today we're going to take a quick look at a common support request which is how to pull all occurrences of a substring from a trigger ingredient. So generally what I'd recommend for this is some form of regular expression or regex uh, which is a way to match patterns in text and it works really well with filter code when you use the dot match method. And I'm going to jump in today with an example of trying to find new posts in a subreddit that mention a particular cache tag. And this is because cache tags are a perfect example for regex because they have an easily definable pattern. Um, essentially, we're looking for a dollar sign followed by between two to four uppercase letters. So when I'm working on regex, I like to hop on over to regex101.com, which lets you test out your regex and it has some good reference material. Uh, but today I'm going to keep all of this on the if site. Um, so you can see I've already created an applet, which has a new post and subreddit trigger and a rich notification action, and I'm going to jump straight into the filter code here. Uh, you can see I've already defined a few things already at the top, uh, just to help keep my code readable, and you can see that one of those is our regex pattern, and uh, I'm going to go through this right now. So, if you remember, we want to match a dollar sign, followed by two to four uppercase letters. So you can see here in my pattern, I start by matching the dollar sign, and you'll notice directly in front of the dollar sign, we've got a backslash. And this is because uh, dollar sign is normally a special character, but by using the backslash, we can ignore the special meaning and look just for that character. Um, then we have this next section where we've got in uh, square brackets A to Z, and the A to Z are both capitals. And this tells uh, our pattern that we want to match any uppercase letter. So uppercase letters only between A and Z. And we want to do this two to four times, which is where the next bit comes in. We've got some curly braces, and in those curly braces, we've got two comma four, because we want to match two to four uppercase letters. And finally, we're going to add backslash B, and the B is going to be in lowercase, and this defines the end of a word, and that is going to be the end of our regex match. So, let's get to it. Um, we're going to create an if statement, and check if the title matches our pattern using uh, dot match. We're going to add our pattern in between the brackets here. And if this matches, we're going to add this to the empty array that we uh, defined up at the top. And we'll do this again for the description. Um, now, at this point, uh, we're also going to tell the applet to skip if nothing's been added to the array. Once that's taken care of, uh, I'm going to remove any duplicates from the array and then use a for loop to go through and add each array item into a string with a rocket emoji. And that is really important that you add the rocket emoji. Um, finally, we're going to send our notification and in that notification, we're going to include the string we just created as the notification message. Perfect. We've just created a notification applet, which lets us know as soon as a cache tag is mentioned on Reddit. Um, that was just one example of using regular expressions, uh, but you can use this to match any text where you can define a pattern. Um, this could be a chat ID, it could be an email address, it could be a phone number. Really, the only limit is your imagination. Corny as it sounds, it's true. So leave a comment below and tell us what you're going to match with regex and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. I'm going to go and turn my phone off because I'm receiving far too many notifications from Wall Street Bets.